I've been reflecting on some of the RPG hidden gems that I've discovered, and it was really hard for me to find some that I haven't mentioned on this channel yet. However, I do have five suggestions for you all. Don't forget to leave a like, pop a sub, and comment down below some of your favorite RPGs or hidden gems, and let's get right into it. We are starting off this list strong with Arcane Veil, vale, and this is a criminally overlooked indie RPG, especially on mobile, and it has an open world where you can train pretty much any skill that you can think of, and I really love its art style and sound design, and it kind of feels like a single player MMO RPG in a way. I don't know how quite to describe it, but you can tell the developer poured so much love and care into this world, and I am blown away that not more people are talking about it. Next we have Buried Borns 2. Now the first game was actually really popular during the latter half of its cycle, however this second one seems to have not garnered as much traction as the first, not even close, and I think it deserves it because it has made so many quality of life improvements to the tried and true formula of Buried Borns. I think this is a much better installment, especially for new players who didn't quite click with the first one, but if you're not familiar with Buried Borns, this is a dark fantasy themed RPG where you try to build out your character as efficiently as possible in order to plow through dungeons. It's super satisfying and it's really good. It's free, so check it out. The third game I want to share is Queen's Wish 2 The Tormentor. Now this is a CRPG that really harkens back to the classics of this genre, and I am honestly blown away that I haven't heard more about this game because it's really well done. The only thing it's lacking is a soundtrack and this game does feel a little bit janky at times, and you can tell that it was just a passion project. But as a package or a whole, it is so good and it deserves more attention. Next up, we have Three Skies, and I never see this covered on YouTube or talked about almost at all, and I think it's because a lot of people overlook it as a run-of-the-mill gacha game. However, the party building and the character compositions and the characters themselves and their abilities are so deep. There is so much content in this game and honestly I've never spent a dime on this game and I've spent so much time with it. They are so generous to free to play players and it's fun because it just feels like a single player RPG with tons of characters to add to your party. Last but not least, we have Summon Mate. Now this is the epitome of don't judge a book by its cover. It looks like it could be very janky because of its visuals. However, the gameplay and its mechanics are very deep and really fun. Now it feels like a mixture between Final Fantasy, Pokemon, and Shin Megami Tensei, where you battle monsters, capture monsters, and then breed those monsters into new monsters, and then you can breed those new monsters in into even further new monsters. It's so complex and it's so fun discovering new monsters to utilize all right guys those are five more rpg hidden gems don't forget to leave a like pop a sub and comment down below some of your rpg hidden gems the genre is so massive that there's so much more to discover and i'm looking forward to your guys's comments i hope you guys are staying safe and take it easy